Requisition. Uh, I mean, what? Mesro's to the south, if we follow the inlet. I know. Um, I'm saying here. Into the gorge. Here, and... Is there anything here? Uh, no, I mean, what you see is what you get. All right. And no buried Never... treasure. Nothing? <laughs> None that I'm aware of. Any uh, abandoned canoes here? We could probably sail down the shore on. Right idea. Uh, you know what? There is. There is. Sheet. Nice. One canoe. How many people can you fit in a canoe? That's a good question. Me. Dutch blanket. Um. And that's good for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The gnomes are out of here. <laughs> okay, have fun no, without anyone capable there. of actually scouting where you're going. Oh, yeah, that would be scouting in the water. I mean, you're two gnomes. Oh, you're gonna be like, I don't know where I'm going. Mr. Plinkett rolling the survival checks, he'd get lost in yeah, the river he's like, somehow. Oh, no. <laughs> he's gonna travel upstream somehow. Well, you are blind, uh, basically. Yeah. You see, yeah, uh, it's true. Can, it can carry six medium creatures. Does a small medium. creature count as... Not, the gnomes are small, right? Are gnomes? Yes. Small or yes. medium? They're small. Other. Yeah, yeah, small. So we'll say two gnomes. For one. Well, if two we did do the canoe plan, we'd have to say we could buy it a long-term friend. We might have to say goodbye to uh, your massive... Uh, Precise huge friend. Oh, right, all right. Pitch, pitch. I want to pitch something here. We put the canoe on his back and we just sort of walk over to River Trinky and take the canoe down back into Port Nianzaro. I don't think we're going to be able to walk into Port Nianzaro with an ankylosaurus, anyways. Well, maybe not. We, maybe so. Isn't it a dino they city? They have plenty of dinosaurs. Yeah, it's a dino city. Right, but like. Yeah, dinosaurs are. yeah but he's not big enough, so people would be like, eh. Like, I, like, he likes us, but... I feel like they know, like, what, what can and cannot be tamed. I think there's, like, a dino entry area that they probably have. And there's probably more than a few like, people who've come in with untrained dinos or something like that. It's like a parking garage. It's fine. But yes. Yeah. But, guys, Barry is a wild animal. Come on. If it comes to that, I will wait outside with him. It's fine. Oh. A wild animal we've been saved for the last week or so. No, no, don't say that. No. We haven't enslaved it. We, you know, we're friends. I think we've come Magical this far. We should sense. probably just walk the rest of the way to Mizro. If you want to take this canoe, we probably can haul it. But yeah, we could probably. Have to... Yeah, in fact, we don't even have to do that. I could probably wait a day in prob in because uh... we're camping out here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the morning, I can make a bag of holding. Oh yes, I forgot. My newest design is a extra-dimensional bag that is bigger on the inside than it is on the inside. It sounds like it'd be a meme from a British TV show. <laughs> what is a meme? Oh my, they're great. People in the jungle use them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the true meme lords, mate. <laughs> I've heard of this, these mean lords. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna stuff a canoe inside of a bag of holding. All the canoes I have here. Yes, this is how it starts. Uh, I am the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you, you, get, you got your shit, GM. On. Uh, I mean, like, okay, well, the, the mouth, the the mouth of it has to be able to fit. You can't, the canoe, yeah, you can't the put mouth of the bag. It's like a five by five uh, mouth, I think. Hmm. The bag holding. Well, that's pretty good. It's something ridiculous. Let me double check though. I mean, canoes are pretty skinny and long, aren't they? Not these canoes. These are Chulti <laughs> yeah, right. canoes. These, these are double white canoes. They're actually giant rafts. <laughs> They're really. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm featuring more of a gondola. Maybe not a canoe. If this canoe is like, if this canoe I mean, has like a side like... thing, if it has yeah. a side thing, it would, it would be fucked. It's two feet in diameter, four feet deep, so no, it's not going to be able to hold it. Yeah.
Not at four feet deep. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> it's just like. Which is why we disassemble the canoes and then. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead and try. I mean, how does it work in a traditional Congolese canoe? How does it work with weight, though? Like, if you have, if you're carrying it by the bag, the bag Infinite is nerd. nearly weightless. Yeah, it's fifteen pound bag. So if it was sticking out of the bag and you're carrying the bag from like the bottom, could you just haul the canoe and it would like, maybe like basically yes, nothing? We can just carry the canoe on the dinosaur's back. It's not a big deal. We have mending. We could just break it up to pieces and then yeah. just reassemble oh. it. Just... Yeah. We have a dinosaur, guys. We don't need the canoe, honestly. We don't have to do Dude, this. He's a gnome. He has to over engineer everything, alright? Like, break <laughs> it apart. <laughs> we'll reassemble it. Uh, how many canoes are there, yeah, actually? Just, just one. Just the one? Yep. Alright. Well, and, uh, it's, honestly, not, it's not in the greatest condition. It's probably been sitting oh. here on the shore for a while. Oh shit, mend it, nerd. True. Yeah, I could do that. We both could do that, actually. Me? What? Anyone? Uh, yeah, doesn't do Lucius it. have mending? Yes, I can do it. Yeah. And I could clean it up with first digitation. Mm -hmm. Nice. You're gonna have Lucas. the sickest canoe yeah. this side of the... Turns into a full-fledged <laughs> sailboat. Side of the tricky. There are any corpses I do that. actually here, right? You said that the graves are dug up, but... Corpses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do I can I investigate the graveyard by the way? Because it does it look like they were dug out by hand, or does it seem like a shovel did this? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and investigate. Twenty. Yeah. I mean, it, this looks like it's dug out by hand. Okay. It seems very strange for corpses to dig up other graves, though. No, oh, mate. If you have an intelligent flesh. necromancer. The necromancer can be like, oh, you guys, dig up some more bodies for me to necromance, you know? I sincerely hope this isn't a necromancer behind this. I mean, I suppose it always oh, is, but... I mean, I thought we knew, right? Yeah. Isn't it... What's his name? Fucking... His name is something... Nizro, who is a paladin. Or no, his name is Raznusi. Raz... 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 Raznusi. Raz Raz he conquered something? Nizro with an undead army. That's how it went. Raz... Raz and Sears, Raz and yeah, Sears. Raz. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Raz. I think I Raz think uh, Kawasha told you guys a little bit about that, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I think Blake was staying attention. Shit. Um, oh, shit. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. I don't think yeah. we know anything about this... him besides he was like a paladin and he came there and was like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so... word for word. That's direct quote. Yes, let's do. Mm -hmm. okay. Next day. Uh, we on. we do check all the huts though, and make sure there's no actually useful items. In. Yeah. Other than sure. That. Yeah. And I'm gonna attempt to use some of the materials just around the port, quote unquote port, try to make a platform on top of uh, just like a support thing, so it's the stuff isn't jostling around quite as much on there. On top of a uh, berry. Mm -hmm. So we're on day 15. Yeah, there is nothing here. Stinky. Day 15. Yeah. 15. Can we hire this dude for four weeks? Is that right? <laughs> Guys, I mean, we've, sure. we've only lost money so far. We've been in the woods for 15 <laughs> yeah. days. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, you've only gone to places where literally everybody else on the island has gone to. Well, like, these are these are like course. the obvious first places to go. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean? What about these X's? We could do over there. Or these skulls. So yeah, I don't know what that means. We have a problem. Oh, no, we didn't hire well, them for are... three days. We hired them for 40 days, right? Yeah. It's, ten, it's one gold per 10 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll be able to do it easy. Let's keep going. Next day. Okay. I mean, once yeah. we get to Port Nianzaru, I don't really give a shit how he gets home. We have no need to go back there. <laughs> it's none of our business. Alright. Checks out. Oh, shit. Okay. Um. Crap.
said it was the Scorcher the next day, right? Because I don't remember. Uh, he did say that, but that was for today, so today should be the Scorcher. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, so next day, uh, it's hot and cloudy. <sighs> nice. What's the chance of rain? <sighs> Uh, I mean, like 80%. Okay. Yeah. Right. Humidity. Yeah, it's fucking, it's goddamn jungle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna jungle out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you gotta roll your... Dinos and dogs. Your yes. check to get lost. Ooh, pretty close. Uh, 16, you're good. We are... Are you coming straight across here to the river, or are we going down oh, here? man, you guys are no fun. All right. We're going to the undead okay. city. Sweet. Around. You know, if you think that we're no fun, imagine if one of us had made a fucking rainforest ranger. Wouldn't that be awful? Right. <laughs> Remember when I was a ranger in Terra and we never got lost in the forest? In fact, we moved quite, yep. like faster. You remember when we spent like our entire campaign in the desert and we had a desert ranger the whole fucking time? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had that fucking figurine of not getting lost. And then we just yeah. never used it. Never needed because it. Because we, we had a desert ranger and never needed it. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Alright, day 16. Um, yep, yeah, okay, let's do it. Uh, nothing happens today. You guys are walking along the beach. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be scared of. Walking right? the beach, beach. We've been on so. this freaking peninsula for like a month and a half. How about each beach? Yeah, yeah like, yeah, like something like that. Um, oh, not, not much. Like it's been about a month. No, because it was 10 days yeah, down, 10, 10 days, days up, that's 20, and then 7 mm -hmm. days, it, it was 7, we test, so, we, so we spent 27 days on that, that charter to down there, 7 days, right, right. 10 days, yeah. so 20, that's a month. Now we spent 15 days coming down here. 16. 16, so that's a month and a half. Are you right? I, uh, yes. I retire. That's too long. <laughs> Why are we in the trouble? I have things to do, but it's all... I haven't hit the jackpot yet. It's way too long. This is bullshit. Where's the crit? Where's the crit? Sunk loss fallacy, though. Keep going. Next mm -hmm. day? Yep, let's do next day. Uh, whilst we're in the inlet, can we, like, can we look towards this direction and see anything? Or measure for that fact? Uh, you. Oh, not. Oh, no. <clears throat> no, no, no. Malfunction. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we throw Scully into the into the sea for a joke, and he comes out all fucked. <laughs> got like particles and shit on him. Ah, uh, okay. His accent pulls okay. back. Doctor Plinkett, I think the checkout lane needs a checkup. Yeah. All right. Uh, minus two. Come to the doctor's tent. Oh no, minus two. <laughs> so you, you go down to zero. You, uh, You're don't dead. actually... For sure. Uh... Just yeah, stops yeah. moving for a second there. He's on stealth checks. Yeah. We're a really stealthy group, so, so... Yeah, I mean, you're not trying to stealth right now, so you don't need... Yeah. Don't Every need time I walk, it's just... Sweep, sweep, sweep! It's like 15-foot-long yep. monstrosity <laughs> barreling through the yeah. woods. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need, uh, friendship. Yeah, you should probably okay. do that today. Friendship rolls. Oh yes. Friendship Imagine if keeping. Oh, here he we passes. go, boys. Oh, uh, what, what's happening? What happened? Uh, he rolled a nineteen plus one twenty. What happens? Uh, I mean, I guess I cast it. I, no, no, no. I cast it before it wears off, right? So I'm just like trying to redo yes. it. So I just have okay. to do it. I just cast it again, right? Like, the first berry fails, okay. and I feed him another good berry, and I'm using all my spell slots to, do, to fucking basically do this. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, so roll you gotta roll slots. another save? Yeah, wisdom. Oh, 18. I have one Fuck. more. I have three spell slots a day, so... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, please, no. Hey, like, please don't. Like, like, I, mean, yeah. I mean, yellow, wisdom right? Wisdom save, yeah. 14. He passes. Does that? Ooh, passes. he does. Oh, Fourteen shit. or higher. I thought that failed. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Um, is this a thing that everyone sees happening? Is there like trouble in paradise? Um. 
I mean, he's still charmed because I do this before it wears off. So I think I'm aware, though, and I, I confront you in confidence, uh, Daimy. I'm like, I think I'm losing control of our friend. And I kind of give you the eyes towards the big hulking behemoth 15 feet away from us. You know, normally I'd say that that's just a sign of time having come, mm -hmm. but also Mesro's a scary place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so I, I, I like I look around for like a fucking mango or something, like a random ass fruit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think Anything? you can... <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I'll pick out like a random ass fruit or like a piece of bush or something, mm -hmm. and I'll go over to Barry and try to feed him it, and in that process cast animal friendship myself. Okay. Two druids! Two druids, DM! He only has to beat a 13. Okay, I know. he beats it. He's been beating all of our rolls today. He beats yeah, it? He's rolling really good today, boys. Dude, this is... Uh, time has come. Do you have one more? So that we're just gonna have to love on him? Yeah, I mean, I do have one more, but... Just have faith, Dude, have faith. He's gonna love it. us even without mind control. It's fine. Alright, I'll do it one more time. I'm assuming that today we're not gonna face anything. We're gonna have to camp out. Okay. <laughs> Rolls another 19, boys. Well, it's time. It's time. Can't make this shit up. But he has Stockholm Syndrome, so it stays, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe, no, but... Where else is he gonna get those berries, man? We Hell have yeah. no control I over pet him. I pat him lovingly while he's still charmed. Mm -hmm. We keep doing, I, like, you know? catch with, you know, little scraps of food or whatever and hanging out. Mm -hmm. And I start unloading all the shit from his back <laughs> just so he doesn't run <laughs> off and all my shit. <laughs> I noticed him doing this. I'm like, uh, you know, over there. Uh, what's happening, buddies? It's Star. Come Star. Uh, Time for what? Somewhere to be. <laughs> Sometimes. The animals just get tired of our company, and there's little thing that we can do about it. So the jungle gives, and the jungle just takes away. Just charm it back in. It's very useful. Oh, I just charm it. I'm gonna start loading up the stuff inside the bag of holding. <laughs> he passed five saves today. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, for Wait, real, you have a bag of holding? Yeah, his yeah. roll was a 13. Plus one. It is so fucking broken. I could just touch a bag, and it becomes a bag of holding. It's crazy. It's just so weird I mean, how this game works. He has failed every single save up to this point, and then he's like, no. Up to this point, and no. then he's just like, no, fuck no. it. Yes. I mean, that's how probably it no. works. No. <laughs> that's how it works. It's close enough, sure. Why she would have chance or something? Sense, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's best that it works this way, because, like, if he had been failing yeah. every other day out there, that would have sucked. You know, we. Mm. I think. I think we have, like... We're on the beach, right? We have like a wonderful little luau yep. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Do you like a little party and? Mm -hmm. So, if she wants to go. Yeah. So near the end of the day, we're we're camping out here, and I lose control of him. It's just that he's not charmed anymore, so he's probably not aggressive. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he's um, when the charm wears off, like he's you see him kind of lose interest, but he's hanging out. As long as you got berries, he's still kind of chilling with you. Right. I mean, I, we got food. Yeah. So he's just hanging out with you for right now. I give him one of my rations. Huh. I don't know if he wants that, but it's got like... <laughs> it's. I mean, dried rations. It's like dried he berries. Wants, he wants berries, man. He wants good berries. Yeah, I'm not going to eat dried uh, rations. I think it's time. I think it's time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really really fun, uh, you, I think it's really accept that this is a sign. Let's just see how it reacts if we, uh, if we could just lead it here, uh, lead us to Mesro. If we could lead it to Mesro. Because, uh, he's been very helpful so far. Maybe he wants to stay with us. It's like Never a fucking know. death knight in Mesro. I don't want to go there without this thing. Yeah, right. fuck, man. It's, it's been too long. He misses his, um, something, whatever he misses. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he'll, we'll have to let him decide that. We cannot, uh, push fate in such a way. I think he's decided. I think he's decided five times today. <laughs> Has he? Has he really? I, I asked Maybe him. this is his I him taking him. the further step. I say. Can you speak with animals without casting? Yeah, I can do yeah. it as a ritual. Oh, yeah. ritual. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. So I just say, Barry, uh -huh. are you enjoying our company or are you ready to go back home? Good, Barry. <laughs> well, like I like um, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I like I like the good berries. They're tasty. Well, we've got plenty so, of those. Uh, yeah. Company not so bad. Excellent. Company not so bad? That's a mm -hmm. raving... <laughs> and then it, or, and then it, then it weans off and he becomes hostile. Food, food is amazing. Four out of five stars, he says. Yeah. Yeah. I have to agree. Four out of five <laughs> stars. Nine out of ten. Not, yeah. yeah. Well, there's little I that I can do to stop him from leaving if he wishes. So we just hang yeah. out, and uh, if he's here in the morning, we're gonna retry that yeah. that charm. Mm -hmm. If he's not, then there's nothing we can do about it. This is the well, DM's no. chance to get rid of our tank if he really <laughs> wants to. Up tonight, real right, nice. right. Um. So you guys are like, um, uh. You guys are like hanging out on the beach, having this luau. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And out in the bay, um, you see. I guess. Jumping. Could I? Oh, there it is. Could I get like some um, nature checks? Yeah. Nature. Yeah. I don't know. I guess this inlet, this bay, the mouth of the river. Wow. Really, really naturey boy. Let me just turn off all my modifiers for my survival. It's 18. Oh, I didn't turn off all the modifiers. Um, I mean, no, not, yeah, okay. Um, it's not a hard check. Uh, you guys see out in the, um, inlet, two plesiosauruses. Oh, uh, so you turned up! For... <laughs> it's a sign, Fight. guys! <laughs> They're fighting over a dead, like, it looks like a giant octopus. They're, like, fighting over it, splashing water around. Um, God. water mounts. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty much, right? Oh, yeah, uh, let me note down Plesiosaurus for my animals that I have seen. That's a Plesiosaurus? It's the one with the big neck that mm -hmm. is underwater. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you guys are on, on the bank of the river, so they, they don't really. Or bank of the inlet, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. The bay. Yeah, we're on the beach. We're having a luau. It's fine. Uh, yeah, they're out there ways. So they don't they don't bother you guys. They're just out there fighting over this octopus and then kind of just disappear. Okay. Me. So. Goodbye, <laughs> movement. But I mean, you guys can go out there and try to. I mean, eat, fight them if you want. Do they disappear Fox even if we them. invite them to our barbecue? Uh, I don't think we want to invite them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're places so uh, terrible guests. We have the meats. <laughs> Do we? We don't have enough good berries for everyone and three dinosaurs. <laughs> we said every single spell slot. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I assume you guys don't try to go out there and no. cook some in with your canoe. We have a canoe, right? Do you want to take some uh, pot It's only two of them. How, about, how much does the canoe weigh, by the way? Do we have to like, worry about weight on, uh, fucking... I mean, canoe's probably, like, 80 pounds or something like that, right? What? Pounds? That seems, like, way too much. Really? Yeah, like, these things are, like, tiny and skinny. You ever try to pick up a canoe that's big enough to fit six people? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's it's goes, yes, I have, actually. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sure there's a canoe equipment thing in D&D, &D, right? So we'll just look at that. Probably. Yeah, canoes are about 50 pounds, okay. There you go. Okay. That makes sense. I can, I can one arm. Google actually, a, a in fact, pounds. says all canoes weigh exactly 50 pounds. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Wait, this is from Google? Facts and logic. Yeah, I, I Googled how much does a canoe weigh, and it just says 50 pounds in big letters. Sorry, right. he doesn't care about your that feelings. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the day. Do you guys, do you guys want to? Anything else you want to say tonight? Yeah, you I say oiled up last night. He okay. Oh, you'll nice. okay. Get some of the points back, boy. All right. It's just oh, one point, right? Yeah, one point for okay. Warforge oil. Oh dude, boy, look at these war canoes, dude. War, war canoe? Canoes? I don't know. I'm just gonna post it. Damn. Look at how cool that is, dude. <laughs> Jesus. That canoe also only weighs 50 pounds, according 50 to... 50 pounds? Oh, it's, uh, relatively, it works like this. 
Oh, God. 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 Oh, uh, so the next morning, right. is uh, mm -hmm. is Turtle Bro still around, or is he like gone, or what? Uh, so you wake up and look out of your tent, uh -huh. and oh, you do not tent. initially see uh -huh. Barry. He's a wandering boy. Well, but, I uh, think we spend you... a little bit of time, probably like 10 to 20 minutes just looking around in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. But uh, if he's not... Okay. No, I just, yeah, uh, actually, I don't even look around, I just start singing a sad song. You actually, uh, I mean, you look around, maybe you go to the edge of the, the woods, the, the <whistles> jungle. You actually see him. He's over there just munching away, <laughs> munching on some uh, grass, yeah. around some uh, leaves. Yeah. He found a tree huh? star, so he's eating a tree star right now. Mm -hmm. Crunch, 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 crunch. Hey. It's time. Well. Decide goodbye. I know you feel that way, but I want to take him to Mizro if yeah, possible. No. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so I approach after having done my ritual, so I can speak with mm -hmm. him. And I approach as I always do, and I'm like, "Oh, Barry, how are you today?" Turns out it's not Barry, and he just fucking sweats it. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm I'm willing to uh, to say that. Um, you've spent enough time with Barry that you you recognize the markings on him. You would recognize if it wasn't Barry. the scars. Were oh yeah, yeah the giant, yeah. <laughs> the giant gorilla. The fresh wounds, gorillas. Yeah. I know the mole uh, on his left calf. Good. <laughs> kind of weird, but you know specifically. <laughs> Not at all. I'm yummy it. tree stars here. This is what I do. This is, uh, yeah. Scissors, yummy That's tree stars here. Yeah. Well, I have something even better. And I hold a fistful of berries. Mm. Berries? Good berries? Mm. Mm. Good berries. You like good berries. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what this fistful thing is. Like, I can only spare two good berries for, <laughs> for berry every day. I'm casting good berry. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I... Yeah, I feed him good berries and animal friendship. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, he rolls uh, 18. Plus it's time. Thank you. It's time. Jesus. I'm to gonna try it one more goodbye. time, and if he passes this one, we're done. So that's gonna be all my spells. Okay. So. Yeah. I'm gonna use a different die. I'm I've literally been using feeding purple him die this whole fucking ten time. good berries <laughs> and time. casting animal friendship, and he's like, nom, 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 nom. I don't to he's like, these are good. These are real good, but um. All right. All right. No, no. Here's here's what you do. Uh, for the blanket's gonna walk up to him, and he's gonna. Put his hand on Lucian's, Lucian's, oh uh, god. Uh, left calf. Yeah, left calf. Her <laughs> purpose thing he could reach, can't even reach his shoulder. He says, sometimes you have to t take a step away from magic. Use your, use your druid knowledge. Use the Go beyond the bounds of magic. You don't He's know I'm failing. I'm, I'm, I'm courting him right now. You're like, you realize sometimes, you're and I'm like, hey, shh, shh. You're just talking to him constantly, and he's not really listening. He's just gonna say, He's just eating all handling. my food. <laughs> yeah. all right. He's animal handling. Is, you can do it. You don't need the crutch. Right. Save your spell clutch slots. I think it's time. Are you using it or no? Yes. Okay. Hey. We're, this you is don't need it. We're too. Hey. He rolled Nate. Oh, oh. It would be so sweet. It would be such a sweet turn off. Yeah. <sighs> You're not going nowhere. The sweet send off is going to be sending him into Mizro to get attacked by 20 zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so that's very juridic of you. Well, yeah, I, I will juridic. purposely kill him, but you know. That's kind of how it goes. <laughs> if he dies, yeah, I'm going to uh, so so I will I, purposely kill Jason. Though. I lead him back okay. to. Uh, what happened? I lead him back to Cowboy <laughs> or to Daimy, and I'm like, alright, we have him under our control again, but. I I'm getting the feeling that, and I give him a look and I say, I think it's about time. It's getting to be time. Perhaps I after think that No matter what happens after misery. I agree. So. Uh, You're so have... dependent on magic. You should be one with nature and do it naturally. The way you say but under our magic... control seems so sinister. But this magic, this magic is natural, all right? I don't know what the fuck you're doing over there and where your magic comes from. But this magic is the jungle education. giving back. Huh? 
<sighs> All right. Uh, and we move along. To <sighs> yeah. All right. So it is uh, lightly rainy today. Uh, not terribly hot. The rain seems to be keeping it cool, as well as being kind of along the beach here. So, oops. Um, yeah. So, let's just try to... We've got one more block to go. So, um, yeah, and we're, um, approaching where the river gets nice and narrow here. It really starts to look like a river. Um, you can see the the water um, the slow moving river water is mixing in with the ocean water here um, but legitimately nothing you see nothing going on um, nothing happens along the beach today don't see any more plesiosaurs Damn. no uh, zombie t-rexes attack you while you're sleeping no. or anything it's kind of fucked up because like if, it, if there's plesiosaur in the inlet, there might be plesiosaur in the rivers. And that would be bad. <laughs> That'd be bad news for boat plan. Alright. So boat general's bad plan. It's gonna be your call. DM, I would love to get to Mizro and call it, but if Mizro is, yeah. you know, infested, maybe we should hold off until next session. <laughs> Because, you know, we're getting near end time, yeah. so let right. me know, or you just decide how that needs to be played out. Well, let's get us to yeah. Mizro, and um, I'll give you kind of, kind of a rundown of what you see. Yeah. Um, you step on Last a stitch, and it's a scene from World War Z. Yeah, yeah great. That's exactly what I don't want. <laughs> and then Luther cast right, Count of Cold, and then we win. And then Orsic taunts the fucking ogre. Mm -hmm. And then it toss um, the tree, and the tree drops a branch and kills Orsic, or kills Luther. Yeah. Death comes from uh, assault. Let's see here. Okay. Doesn't have to. It's all yeah, over. so, uh, you guys sleep, you wanna. Oh, you, looks like you did roll. Yeah. Or, for the next day? Yes, mm -hmm. that's for the final day. Okay. Cool. And then deal with the wisdom save because we're doing it in the mornings now, so. Mm hmm. And he rolls a uh, 12 plus 1. So. Okay. Fail. Just mm -hmm. under, man. Just under. Mm hmm. Uh. <laughs> he's getting antsy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's feeling like it might be time, you know. Uh, okay. Let me find Mesro on here. So you guys are going along this, what is now becoming a river. And I believe... Sorry, I just always want to read all this stuff correctly, because while I read it all today already. Just want to make sure it's correct. We don't know the name of this river, right? Uh... Blue River. If... Yeah, I guess you guys don't know it, but, um... If you ask Kawasha, he will tell you this is the River Olong. Cool. Olong. Um... Yes, and Olong... Olong. Olong. Yeah, it, it looks like Olong. Olong T. Hell yeah. Um, Except it's only one O. I actually have some long right now that I really want to drink. So, um, yeah, he tells you that this leads um, north a ways, or north, it leads south a ways. Um, uh, just, um, it's kind of a good split between the undead and to the north and to the south is um, like non undead infested um, jungle. Um, it's pretty well known because it's a good dividing line. Mm. Uh, they can't swim. That's good to know. Well, I didn't say that necessarily. They walk in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I wonder what like, Pierce of Dawn of the Dead. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 
Whenever it ties the Uh. Yeah. So, um. Let's see. Yeah, so approaching, uh, you see that this river, um, river along that he has described to you, um, kind of starts running through what looks like city. So you guys are walking upstream, right? And, um, so the water that's, like, coming at you right now has kind of gone through some ruins, um, and... You're approaching, um, like, these centuries-old buildings that are falling and dilapidated and collapsed. They're covered in vines, um, and the streets, um, are full of water, and, um, so they're more like canals now instead of, uh, roadways. Um, and approaching it, it is eerily quiet. The only sounds you hear are, like, trickling water. And the occasional sounds of birds in the distance. Okay. It's just weird, because, like, when we talk to... Oh, God. Whatever her name is. Porter, she's mm -hmm. like, Yeah, we go to Misro and shit. Like, you know, it's occasionally getting, mm -hmm. like, a zombie, but whatever. Yeah. They're fucking mm -hmm. liars and dummies, right? I guess so, yeah. Can't trust them. Hey, <laughs> pull Jason aside and... Torture. I mean, uh, interrogate him about it and ask him like what. Uh, well, Just tell him, dude. Just yeah. I mean, uh, before sure. we ask go him. in, we do ask Jason like, mm -hmm. is it safe to enter? Typically. Yeah, I mean, mezzer has been pretty pick clean of anything. Uh, uh, King, what the shit? You know, part? undead. Every once in a while, you know, it's on the edge of the areas where they're. There are undead, so walking through the streets, you'll you'll find some undead stuff every once in a while, but it's it's nothing like. Smezzer's so looking abandoned town, right? Yeah, it's. I mean, uh, yeah. There there used to be some people that lived here um, a long time ago, but um, they all died or something. Uh, they, they all. Uh, nobody really knows. Yeah, they just kind of like disappeared or died. Or... And you said this thing is like flooded, and there's like canals over there. Yeah. So, um, so if if you're, so you guys are kind of looking at it. You're coming from the east. Um, you notice that like there's a main road from the east. Um. And then, like, that goes, like, right through it. And then mm. it's kind of, um, round. It's, so, as, it as port, you're getting right? closer... It's not, like, right on cor the edge. Correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, um... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, like, on the edge. It's kind of, like, it's, like, a, um, what is that called? Like, a flood basin or whatever? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so it's by the river, and the river's just kind of, like, flowed into it. Like, there might have been walls at one point that held the river back, uh, you know, in case of flooding and stuff. Um, but they're dilapidated and, and washed away now. So there um, there are, like, rudimentary walls that are still standing, but, like, they're mostly destroyed kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this place, this place looks like... There has not been any inhabitants here for hundreds of years. Right. I mean, they are old ruins that the forest is reclaiming. Oh, okay. So it's like prior civilizations. This is not like a fail. Yeah. And and I mean, like, you know, like legend has it they all just like disappeared one day. Um, but I, like, you know, they probably all just like died out or left and went somewhere else or. Rowan, you find a tree that says Croatoan. That's pretty cool. Alright, well, I think that's where we end the session, so. Yeah. yeah it's getting I late. scream super loud. Uh, <laughs> when? 
execute Jason right. before he gets counted for XP. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah uh, for sure. We all learn the catapult spell, and together, in unison, we cast it to launch Jason <laughs> off into the ocean. Off into the sunset. <laughs> hey, Goodbye! So the place is I just want to be clear that, uh, they never said this place was, like, crazy overrun with no, undead. That's not what <laughs> You I guys was... are just interpreting what they said is like, ah, oh, it's fucking so many undead. Well, I, I was taking this for caution. I'm disappointed that we're not, yeah. I mean, I mean there's not undead yet. in the immediate moment. I think it'd be a better ending point for the session for us to, instead of ending it on the seeing of Ezra, yeah. we end singing goodbye to Barry. I don't know, you guys might still want him. No, no, it's his time. He's decided. <laughs> we'll deal with that next session. Um, okay. Next week, Yeah. A billion to make it. Are we sure we don't want to kill Jason last minute, so we don't um, have to I mean, you guys wanted to find Mesro and uh, Port Kessliar, so I'm going to give you some experience for those. So I will add... Um, 100 onto that as well. Good to know. That I don't know if I'm, like, gonna... eating, huh? but, mm -hmm. I, like, I looked up Mesra just for funsies, and there's some mm -hmm. really pretty maps of it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really cool. I'll show you guys uh, next session what it looks like if you're exploring it. It's a really cool place. Um, but uh, don't look too much into it, because there's some, yeah. there's some, like... Cool. Monster story spoilers. Dude, so. look at that treasure map. Oh, yeah. That's right. Here's where all the treasure <laughs> is in this row. Yeah, right. It just looks really cool architecture, so we can just like this big circle. Uh, so you guys got. Uh, you guys killed Nine Sturge and a Spectre, and then those two zombie Grillians. And, and those flowers. Tri flower fronds, and then you found Mesro and uh, stuff. So you guys. As a party, are splitting up uh, 2,100 experience. Uh, so divide that by how many? Eight, right? I don't know. We have eight? Yeah, we have yeah, nine. So. Experience, so. Well, it depends on who you're counting as. Oh, we're not counting Barry. Yeah, not Barry. Other than Barry, we have eight. Kubilai, right? So, I think yeah, we'll just so 300 each minutes. between seven ways. Yeah. So, yeah, 300. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, seven ways. 300 on the dot? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. shit, boys. You know what that means. Yeah. Level three. <laughs> nice! Uh, nice. what's seven three? 900? Yeah. 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 Oh, God. I, I got the long uh, short term goal. This is better push me over. Okay. Uh, so we you. got 300, 300 XP? Yes. yes. Yeah. And then you also got 60 earlier for your yeah. recap. Okay. Um, and then you, you said you completed a short goal, Mr. Plinkett? Yes, it is create and... Let me get the exact wording. But it's basically create and infusion. Oh, yeah, build like a prototype it. magic item infusion that will help expand my, his versatility as a caster. Which is his cat. As well as a rope and the alchemist drug. Uh, 70 XP weight. You're not gonna complete a goal. Complete a short goal. I don't think I, I think. have one completed. Uh, the two goals were. Find out. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Unless we found a uh, treasure hoard. But. Not quite yet. We might find one in Ezra, though. Who knows? Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. The desert yeah. friendship and... count is un. Oh my god! I have level two spells now. Oh. You can't put a uh, GP value on the French friends you find along the way. But oh, I might have done that long term as well. Use my artificial skill to help enhance Scully. I took some measurements and made like a prototype arm. It hasn't been made yet. But I don't know if that. Counts. Yeah, you haven't. You haven't finished enhancing him yet. But I'm making All right. Um, John, for your XP encounters. <laughs> yep. Did you do like easy encounter difficulty or medium or what? No. So, um, for, for, uh, God, I'm like really tired. I didn't sleep very much last night. For short term encounters, mm -hmm. 
it's, it's one, one encounter, encounter difficulty. So, like, for example, first level, that would be 100 experience, because you'd go easy, medium, hard, deadly. Oh! Okay, I, I understand what you wrote. Yeah. Okay. And long, it's just half, so it, it would take twice as Damn. long. Okay. So, you're, it's much more efficient yeah, yeah. to be burning through short-term goals. We've always Yeah, right, right. Right. Um, so that's 150 experience, then. Right, because you're level 2? Yeah, for three sessions. Three sessions, yeah. So that's 150 experience. Sweet. Now I do level. Nice. 150 to 80. Um, I completed my long term to kill undead. Kill our first okay. undead. So I gotta go. For See me, uh, See you. for me that is going to be 113 because it's a, it's 1.5. Encounter difficulties at third level. You know, I still gotta convince Mr. Plinkett that the jungle is the best place in the world. It's gonna be hard to sell. Listen, I just want you gotta mix very slow, you know? Okay. Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. Who, who are we giving? Are we giving like a. Isn't it yes. we give inspiration? Inspiration we should have handled before he left. Well, I think we should give it to him, to be honest, because he punched the shit out of everything. Did he use his last inspiration? I have I inspiration, know. and uh, who else has it? Uh, I believe not. Uh, uh, Scully has one yeah, as he well. He already has one, yeah. Well, in that case, I vote for Mr. Plinkett for having made his character class be <laughs> useful. <laughs> For getting a bad uh, it's, it's, yeah, definitely an achievement, yeah. Yeah, uh, sure, I'll vote myself. Didn't do much, but it's getting there. <laughs> oh, I rolled a one on the health. Then my vote uh, is... Oh, uh, that's a cool. Okay. Plinkett adds a point of care, uh, inspiration to scare Nice. Mm. Uh, alright. Is that everything? Except I think, it, yeah, I think so. I just got a level so we up. had three level ups today, right? Dordry, how close are you? Is it 30 seven? XP. Or 70 uh, XP, yeah. Uh, Next session. Yeah, it's good. I'm level three. Yeah. I think Scully as well is real close. <sighs> 22 HP as a clothy, that's pretty good. Yeah. Fucking 17 HP, dude. Dude. Thank God I can turn into a fucking tiger, because otherwise it'd be fucking bad. Second level druid. Yes, can finally do druid things. Oh, yep. which which moon are you doing? Yeah. Which, which circle are you doing? Um. One of us. One of us. Google. Yeah, I'm doing. Google. I think I'm doing circ uh, moon. I think. Fuck yeah, dude. Sparta buds. The transformation shit is just so good. Uh, well, it gets increasingly bad as time goes on, but at the beginning it does feel very nice. Uh, well. Was... Yeah, that... yeah, I have to say goodbye. Just yeah. uh, go to sleep. Yeah. Or, uh, later, man. Bye. See, see you guys next week. Bye. See you. See you.